Hey man, have you ever noticed that we wear the exact same clothes every day? We don't... we don't wear any clothes. What if we're both just a cartoon character, and that's why our clothing's the same? That's impossible. Cartoon characters' mouths move. We just open our mouths and words start coming out. <gasps> hey guys, did you see my brand new Rolex? <laughs> Are you jealous? Doesn't your phone tell the time? Maybe he never noticed that his phone has a clock in it. <laughs> no one buys a Rolex to tell the time. I can't even read this. People buy Rolexes to indirectly tell everyone how much money we can throw away on useless objects. Hey, look what my watch can do. Ring, ring. Hello? You'll never believe what Brian just bought. What'd he buy? A watch. Really? <laughs> what a nerd. Oh, Brian. I'm the kind of person who doesn't really care about my outward appearance. A lot of times in high school, we talk about having a healthy self-image of ourselves, and teachers would say stuff like, Don't listen to the people who call you ugly. You're beautiful. And all I could think was, There's people saying I'm ugly? For the most part, I haven't really tried to even learn anything about fashion. Most of the time when I get dressed in the morning, I wear just whatever's the cleanest. Like, I don't even know my pants size because I wear basketball shorts all the time. I think... I'm a medium. My parents taught me the value of hard work by making me pay for all my clothes. And I am 100% on board with that parenting technique. I think even the super, super rich parents should still make their kids buy their own clothes. Because if you just buy your child anything they want, then they're going to turn into a-holes who just expect everything without having to work hard. Those are the types of kids who grow up to flex all their money on people and who leave their basketball cards all over the cramped dorm. And also, buying your own clothes makes you think harder about what you're going to spend your precious dollars on. You don't want to waste your money, so you have to pick clothes you really like. Except my mom told me I couldn't buy anything with skulls on them. She said they were too edgy. And you know what? Fair enough, mom. Looking back, I'm glad I skipped that emo edgy phase. But why didn't you let me express my true self, mom? Thank you for not letting me do that. In the seventh grade, I went through an... I need to look cool phase. And one time, I saved up quite a bit of money, so me and my mom went on a shopping spree at Kohl's. Hashtag not sponsored. I was going to impress everyone. I was going to look so cool with my brand new two pairs of jeans. I'll get this normal blue pair, and then the exact same pair, just in case I spill ketchup on the first pair. That's another reason why I'm pro have your kids pay for their own clothes. So that way they learn how expensive clothes shopping is. Seriously, two pairs of jeans was $70. Do you know how many Pokemon cards I could have bought? Probably enough to make my own pair of Poke Pants. And that's when I learned about the magical land of Goodwill. At Goodwill, you could buy mediocre, questionably stained looking jeans for a fourth of the price of Kohl's. And since I had to buy all my clothes and I was unemployed, I was at Goodwill every other Saturday for that half off deal. You're at Goodwill and everything's half off. That's like a double sale, people. Here's the thing. Typically, clothes stores have a certain style they specialize in. Tilly's, you know you're gonna get that hip LA style clothes. At Old Navy, you know you're gonna get that white boy, white boy Ohio look. And H&M, you know you're gonna get demonetized. But when you step inside your local Goodwill, you don't know what you're getting. You get every style of clothing all in one place. I got my favorite t-shirt from Goodwill. I even wore it to this panel at VidCon. You know, the panel where I didn't even talk into the microphone, so you couldn't hear half the word they said. Ah, but James, I don't want to wear clothes that have already been worn by other people. They are gross. Ugh, cuties and herpes. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true, that's true. You don't know who else has worn your clothing. But then again, you could be wearing something that was also worn by the odd ones out. Yeah, that's right. I donate my clothes to Goodwill. Reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. Why would someone make a pair of pants out of Pokemon cards and give it away? I'm not saying don't buy expensive clothing. Buy whatever you want to buy and can't afford. If there's two shirts, one is $40 and one is $5, and you really, really like the $40 shirt and hate the $5 one, you should get the $40 shirt because you'll end up wearing it more often, so you get more use out of it. In economics, there's a term used to measure how much happiness a product will give you, and it's called utils. Sometimes buying more expensive things will give you more utils of happiness, so it's worth it to buy expensive clothing. But, for me, I get way more oodles buying a shirt for $5. You cannot put a price on all the oodles and oodles of oodles I get for wearing a shirt I like for $5. You can wear your Supremes and your Amber Crombos or whatever all you want. I just don't think it makes a lot of sense spending that much money on a white t-shirt with an ironed-on logo. There's no material in that shirt that makes it as expensive as it is. 
Oh, never mind. What you're really doing is paying for the name brand. So you might as well staple two $20 bills to your shirt and write in Sharpie, look everyone, I got $40. But again, if you like the design of a white shirt and a red rectangle, then you be happy wearing it. I'm not telling you what to wear, but I will tell you this. Don't judge someone based on their clothing. That's like the most shallow thing a person can do. Even if someone is wearing old hand-me-downs or a really expensive name brand t-shirt, don't treat people differently because of their clothing. There's a certain YouTuber going around, I'm not gonna say any names, but I will draw pictures, who's teaching kids that their value as a person is correlated to the amount of money they spend on clothing. Don't do that. Okay, real talk over now. School uniforms! People who support school uniforms say that uniforms are better because then the students don't have to think about what they're gonna wear the next day because everyone has to wear the same outfit. But like, I already don't think about what I'm wearing. That's probably why I'm naked right now. Okay, that's not entirely true. I'm not just gonna walk outside wearing a, I don't know, a pink poncho. I have standards. I just buy all the cheap clothing I think looks nice. In high school, I mostly wore solid color V-neck t-shirts, and one time a kid on the very last day of school told me, James, you always wear solid color V-neck t-shirts. You're like a cartoon character. That's what I'm going for. I've always wanted to be a cartoon. I don't think you realize how much I love cartoons. One time I bought those shoes with the really fat tongues. I thought they looked cool, but they certainly didn't feel cool. They didn't have any support for my soul. I couldn't go running in them, so what was even the point? And apparently you're not supposed to tie the laces of those shoes. I'm not sure. Someone just told me, hey man, you know you're not supposed to tie the laces of those shoes, right? So I had to bury the laces inside my shoe, and I was constantly stepping on the sharp aglets. And all the cool kids saw my shoes and said, hey James, those are some pretty fat tongues you got there. Do you want to come sit at our lunch table? And I said, no, being cool sucks. So now I wear tennis shoes everywhere. Some of you watching are in seventh or eighth grade right now, and you might be going through your own I need to look cool phase. And I just want to say to you little youngins, you don't need to impress or prove yourself to anyone. Wear whatever makes you happy and that you can afford. And you still have to follow the school's dress code, which is a whole other can of worms. I'm not encouraging anyone to break the rules, okay? All I'm saying is, at the end of the day, what really matters is that you're in seventh grade. Nothing you do will make you cool. I I'm sorry, everyone regrets seventh grade, okay? Just start putting on deodorant, do the homework, you'll get through this.